guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another project for Wild Whisper Designs, and I am playing with the Adventure Collection today. And this is a collection that Wild Whisper Designs released when they very first started, so quite a while ago. And in their latest release, they have brought it back with a bunch of new kind of updated pieces. And I am just as in love with the new one as I was with the original one. And I am so super excited for it to come back because I absolutely loved a lot of the pattern paper and wanted some more. So I'm going to use this black paper that has kind of these like wood slices on it. And I originally thought I was going to go with this kind of diagonal design for this green pattern paper layer. And as I put all this together, it was just, it wasn't working for me that way. So I often struggle with putting my photo on a diagonal. For some reason, it just doesn't work for me. Anybody else like that? So it ends up going straight across the layout, and I like that much better. And then I have this layer that I want to get in here. It's this like cool textury ribbon type of thing. And I wanted to get it in, and it wasn't working on the very bottom layer. Like it just didn't feel like it was sitting right. So instead, I'm going to put it on top of the pattern paper layer, and I'm just going to attach it with my tiny attacher. Um, because I don't want to do any stitching. I don't want it to be super bulky on the page. And so once I have all of that in place, I'm going to go ahead and put a little like triangle of the green pattern paper at the top and the bottom. And that's just to kind of bring it all together and kind of close off the edges of the layout because it is all of that black pattern in the background. And if you know me or you watch my channel, you know that I love a good black background. So I have my photo, which is a four by six, and then I have a three by four journaling card that came with this adventures card pack. And I've already done my journaling on there. So basically I did my journaling as a letter to my son. So it's talking about the fact that he is very typically like analyzing everything, super serious, calm, collected, not at all like the crazy child in our family at all. And he has a relationship with his dad that just kind of brings that out in him sometimes. So his dad has the ability to get a little bit of that like wild and craziness out of him, helps him calm down a little bit and just to be a kid. And so that's kind of what I wrote about in the journaling to him is just this relationship the two of them have and his ability to kind of get him to be a little bit less serious and silly. And that kind of story works perfectly with these embellishments because even though these are in like adventure related embellishments, they're kind of perfect for this theme. So I'm going to use um, a bunch of the pocket cards and cut them apart to get some of the design elements that I wanted. So this large circle is going to go down here on my photo. And then I'm going to use that little wood slice to kind of create another embellishment cluster. And then I want this wolf down at the bottom. And I'm going to open up the ephemera pack because I want to pull in some more pieces. And I'm just going to kind of flip through and see what I can find. So I know I want to use those little mountains. And then I find um, a bunch more wood slices. So I'm also going to pull those out to include on this layout. And because these are the like die cut ephemera pieces, they have a little bit of a bigger white border than the ones that I cut out of the pocket cards. So I am going to go ahead and end up trimming those down. I'm going to leave a tiny white border, but I am going to make it a little bit smaller. And the wolf that was in the ephemera pack has that nice white border around it. And I felt like it showed up a lot better on my background than the one that I cut out. So I went ahead and switched those two out. And I will still use the other one. Just because it was on this black background and it's a gray wolf, it showed up better when I could have that full white edge. And so then I'm just going to kind of play around with where I want my wood slices and everything to go. I know that I want to add some like foam dimensional adhesive to this layout as well. I have already put foam behind my picture and my journaling card. So those are already kind of standing up off of the layout. But I want to also add some of that dimension to my embellishment clusters as well. And so that little mountain range is just going to go up there at the top. It's not going to be a full embellishment cluster. It's just going to be a tiny little detail up there. But I just kind of liked how it looked. So it's not your typical, like, 
triangle or three clusters or lined up embellishments. It's nothing like that. It's just kind of like a little added detail, but I liked it up there. So I went with it, even though it doesn't follow like those typical rules. I am going to get these wood um, slices in all the different sizes in each of my other clusters. I do look at trying to put one down there by the wolf, but decide that that is probably just not going to need to be down there. Um, but I want to layer them up so that I kind of get a cluster of embellishments. So I have this one cluster going above my photo. I have this one going on the left below, kind of overlapping my photo. And then my one with just the wolf down at the bottom. And so I wanted to add this branding strip that has some text on it. And it doesn't show up a ton because it's black on black. But it adds just a little bit of detail. And so I like it on there. And I feel like it adds to the story. Um, so even though sometimes when you're adding things, if it doesn't entirely feel like, you know, I probably don't have to have this, but I really like it, then I say you go for it. Um, so this big circle is going to be the one that ends up with the dimensional adhesive because it's the one that sits on top of my photo. So anytime you use dimensional adhesive with your photo, then I like to have, um, some kind of embellishment that's going to sit on top of it, um, uh, and overlap because that's gonna give you just another layer of that dimension. And I'm not gonna need a whole ton of other embellishing. So you can already kind of see with this layout, I feel like my clusters are getting kind of full. These are those big like foundational pieces. And I feel like I'm not gonna need a ton of other things to pull the layout together. So once I get these kind of attached in all of my different areas, that's when I'm going to kind of think about what type of small little, I like to call them confetti embellishments, am I going to need? And so that's where I'm going to pull out just some things that I had hanging around on my desk. So I've got this little twig, and this was actually a piece that was left over from the very first Wild Whisper Adventure collection, and I only had one more of them. And so I thought it was kind of fitting that it would get kind of tucked in that cluster. And then I have some of these puffy stickers, and these are from Heidi Swap's Wolf Pack. And I'm going to add those to some of my clusters as well. And that collection matches really well with this collection. So if you are a big fan of Heidi Swap's Wolf Pack collection, and you have some pieces left over, it mixes and matches perfectly with this adventure collection from Wild Whisper. I am adding a few little white enamel dots to each of what I consider my three embellishment clusters. So I didn't put any with the mountains up at the top on purpose because that's just kind of like a tiny detail. It's not a full embellishment cluster. And then I'm adding some of these little puffy sticker like paw prints and trees and that kind of thing. But that's basically going to do it for this layout. So I'm not going to add a whole lot else. I'm just adding those little tiny puffy stickers for an extra little pop of detail and layer of kind of dimension. And that's going to do it. So if you love or have a lot of like camping and outdoor pictures, I would definitely recommend this particular collection. I will put a link for it in the Wild Whisper shop down below as well as my referral code so that you can get a discount and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody!